I'm here with Ann from the Raptor Education Foundation. Ann, tell me a little bit about your foundation. Hey Scott, nice to be here. So we were formed in 1980. We are the oldest environmental organization in Colorado that works with live raptors. All of our birds are injured in some way or have behavioral problems that prevent their release. Uh, historically in the 80s, a lot of our birds were shooting victims. Thank goodness we see less of that now. We have a few former falconry and retired birds that are sort of having a second or third career as educators. And we travel to schools. We did do big hunting and fishing and outdoor events. We do a lot of work up with the Vail Valley Foundation and Fourth of July things, and then classrooms, of course, and scout groups, educating the public about rafters, the importance of wild ecosystems and conservation. Absolutely, that's great. And I assume since you can't uh, release these guys into the wild, Eagles live a long time, I assume. They do, and it is a lifetime commitment. This big girl yeah, yeah. will be uh, eight this spring. We've had her since she was 18 months old. Gotcha. So to answer your question, the lifespan of a bald eagle or a golden eagle in the wild is about 20 to 25 years. Our male bald eagle is 32. Okay. So both eagle species can easily reach 40 to 50 years wow. in activity. Yeah. And Anna, how do people find out more about your foundation? So we have a YouTube channel and Facebook, both of which are uh, Raptor Education Foundation. Um, our website as well, raptoreducationfoundation.org or usaref.org. And then of course, actually, we have, if you're a Colorado resident, or if you at least have a vehicle registered in Colorado, we've got these. Okay. So this was Colorado's first wildlife or environmentally themed license plate. It's been out since 1999. It's very clever, we think, because you read it top to bottom. Colorado respects wildlife, yep. which I think anybody that lives in our beautiful state does. Yep. And it's a great uh, membership supporter for us. And uh, yeah, we have a very, very active uh, YouTube channel, lots of footage about the birds and the programs that we do. So uh, yeah, we're pretty easy to find online these days. 